Your pain, you ready? Yeah. Main looks like a love. Yeah. Just play. Yeah. No, I'll turn me up. Hey. Hey, I think we got one. Yeah. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be sitting down with you and talking through this video. I'm actually back in Georgia now, so I'm no longer in Texas, sadly. But I did go to the Spurs game on Thursday, like I said. Today's actually Monday, April 1st, so I've been back for a couple of days now. So I actually went with my older sister, you'll see her later on in this video. The tickets that we ended up getting came with a like courtside experience before the game. Because it was Manu's retirement ceremony, every person that walked in got a Manu hat. <laughs> Friend Forbes, if you watched my last video, you know I wanted to see him, which I did get to see him, but the photos were not that great because he was very active. He was like shooting nonstop, which obviously that's what he was supposed to do, but I was trying to take a picture of him. Hello. He was moving way too much. Then Becky Hammond was there as well. I got a couple photos of her, also not that great. She was kind of focused. After that, they kick you out so you can go um, to your actual seats. We're super happy. <laughs> Inside the AT&T Center, they had separate... Um, like little photo stations of like with the trophies and like posters of Manu. We actually passed by uh, Matt Bonner where he was doing the Spurs broadcast, TV broadcast. <laughs> You'll see that the bodyguard looks like he wants to kill me. I don't know if he's looking at me. I felt like he was looking at me. And then people started to leave from like the crowd around him. And me and my sister were not trying to be on TV. So we kind of left before there was too, too little of people. And then after that, we went to our seats. Um, every seat had a little HEB like tissue um package that was cute kind of funny and then the game started at this point
point the game was finished and we actually ended up winning the score was 116 Spurs to 110 Cavs. There's like a 30 minute intermission between the game and the ceremony. Um, the most stupid things we brought back every summer from his Argentinian team that he made us all do. And you know, we ended up just kind of being a part of what we did. He is inherently curious. Um, uh, sort of studied in many different parts of uh, things that interest him outside of the game, and so the conversation was vibrant. I think just some of that was what he had inside of Was 2005. 
Unselfish. Sean said a little bit, because Sean was talking too much and stole my stuff. If you think about it, how many superstars will come off the bench Nobody. and don't say anything? There's not a lot of superstars. And you were so humble, so humble, that it was an inspiration to all of us. And to me, he's the definition of Spurs basketball. So then I had to coach him here, and believe it or not, my hair was dark, dark brown. <laughs> but it didn't just get like this, it got this way. <laughs> By the second year coaching him, it was dead white. A long time ago. It was white. Not only that, I remember. I look at pictures once and I'll say, Mike, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Now I gotta look at this every day. <laughs> so I had to learn to stop going and say, Manu, geez, oh, what, what, do we need that? What, why? <laughs> I Manu, this is what I do. <laughs> the way the team was set up, we all needed each other. And without Manu, there were no championships. Here, I tried to prepare a script or 
constructing a speech and I started thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing in front of you guys? In front of all of you guys? This was not supposed to happen to me. I had, I had no expectations whatsoever growing up to be even close to be here. I all of a sudden I wake up and I'm here and I hear what these legends got to say about me, what the other guys that talked before, people that I admire, I respect, I love, what they have to say, and it's just overwhelmed. I'm thankful I would like to go shake each one of your hands and give you a hug. I also want to acknowledge that, you know, I, I, I made it here, it was a long ride from growing up in Argentina, but uh, I'm telling you, I've been very lucky. I've been lucky my whole life. Uh, and a few examples are that I, I was raised in a family with uh, two very present, supporting parents that are somewhere there. That allowed, allowed me and my brothers to follow our dreams, to follow our passion, the flame basketball, and it provided us for everything we needed to do that. Uh, uh, what we had was very special, and I always be proud of them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the other guys, Tim, Bobo, Santiago. You guys kept these 40 year old grams young for many years. <laughs> When it was starting to get uh, tough to get on the road and leave my kids at home, my wife, you guys kept it interesting and fun. Love you guys. I'm in there. My camera died after that. So I did not get the jersey going up on my camera, but I did get a snap. enjoyed this video I am so grateful that I got to go and see all of them together and just spend that time with my sister and yeah it was super fun and next year Tony Parker's retirement maybe I don't know but thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this if you're a Spurs fan, then maybe you enjoyed it a little bit more than someone else would. Give it a thumbs up or comment down below who your favorite player is. Or if you don't like the Spurs, comment your team down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.